Good morning, everyone, and I am so delighted to welcome you to the Cathedral of the Assumption Parlour and to our very first opening of the school year mass for the Diocese of Kildare and Lachlan. It would be wonderful if some of you could be here with us and that the cathedral was full of people, but that is not possible at the moment, and so we do what is possible. We invite all the boys and girls in our 171 Catholic primary schools to join us in prayer by watching us on the iCatholic live stream, and we know that lots of you are with us. I want to say a word of thanks to all of you who sent in your prayer intentions for today's Mass. We've had prayers from every corner of the diocese, from the north, Skilcoca in Kilcock, from the south, the boys and girls in Kildavan, County Carlow, from the west, the junior infants in Castle Cough NS in County Leash, and from the east, the boys and girls in Big Stone in County Wicklow. Kahime Fokal Special Tara, the Nadalti Igoil Skull Kildara, Dor Cheats and Lum, Nakme She the Gfakens and Ish, Murta, a Wi Fi, Ufasak or Fad, Akbe She the Nan Fakens again, Kupla Law, Murta, an Afrin Suicer and I Catholic Prayer, Guramahagi as up the Fads of Kuma. We might not be able to name all of you who sent prayers or read out all of your or read out all of your prayers because there were just so many, but I want you to know that every prayer will be held in our hearts and prayed as we celebrate our Mass. We've asked your teachers to take some photos as Mass is progressing, and hopefully we'll be able to show those photos at the, towards the end of our Mass today. The boys and girls in Big Stone National School in Bolton Glass Parish sent a prayer of thanks, and I think it would be good to take a moment to be quiet and still before we begin, and to listen to what they are thankful for. Thank God for all our families, Thank God for our family pets. Thank God for all the work we do in school. Thank God for nature and playing outside. Thank God for our toys and our friends. What are you thankful for this morning? I am thankful for Connor and Katrina, who are going to help us by playing the piano and leading us in song. Our opening song is one you all know, Sing, Sing, Sing Alleluia, This is the Day the Lord Has Made. So in all your classrooms, join with Katrina as she sings and welcome Bishop Dennis as he comes into the cathedral to begin our Mass. Thank you. 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. It's great to welcome staff, pupils, boards of management, parents, friends from 171 of our schools across the diocese. As we join for our, as may have said, our first ever virtual school opening year mass. Normally these masses would happen in the church next door, maybe in your assembly hall or even in your classroom. It's great through the facility of iCatholic to be in a position to live stream this celebration into every one of our classrooms. And while I can't see you, I know you're there. I'm very happy that you're joining me as I celebrate the opening school year Mass here in the Cathedral. This Mass unites all our schools in prayer this day. Maeve, Brian and Robert earlier have just lit candles representing every one of our schools. I'm going to invite you now to light a candle in the prayer space of your classroom and in the school's public prayer space as our Mass begins. Thank you for doing that. On this, the feast of the Archangels Michael, Gabriel and Raphael, let's call to mind our need for protection, for healing, for love. All the things these Archangels represent as we commence the penitential act. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy in us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who dispose in marvellous order ministries both angelic and human, graciously grant that our life on earth may be defended by those who watch over us as they minister perpetually to you in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Our first reading is from the book of Tobit. I am Raphael, one of the seven angels who stand ever ready to enter the presence of the glory of the Lord. When I was with you, my presence was not by any decision of mine, but the will of God. It is he whom you must bless throughout your days, he that you must praise. I am about to return to him above who sent me. Write down all that just happened. This is the word of the Lord. Today's responsorial psalm, boys and girls, is in the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. In the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. I thank you, Lord, with all my heart. You have heard the words from my mouth in the presence of the angels, I will bless you. I will adore before your holy temple. Response, in the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. I thank you for your faithfulness and love, which excel all we ever knew of you. On the day I called, you answered. You increased the strength of my soul. Response, in the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. All the earth's kings shall thank you when they hear the words of your mouth. They shall sing of the Lord's ways. How great is the glory of the Lord. 
response, the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Be compassionate, just as your Father is compassionate. Do not judge, and you will not be judged. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned. Forgive, and you will be forgiven. Give, and there will be gifts for you, a full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and overflowing will be poured into your lap because the standard you use will be the standard used for you. The Gospel of the Lord. Boys and girls, it's wonderful you're all joining in our live stream which is the largest live stream we've ever had in our diocese and to every one of our schools. You've heard the lovely Irish phrase, Tusma Latna Hubra, Tusma Latna Hubra, reminding us the task our entire school community have engaged in over recent months, more intensely over recent weeks, to ensure our primary school places for pupils, and for staff. That Irish phrase reminds us of the task that almost seemed impossible and hopefully it offers all of us that motivation. A good start is half the work. The timing of this Mass was purposefully set for around a month into the school year. Principal and teachers can take a breath. You've done really well. Huge congratulations and thanks are due to our principals, our staff, our boards of management, our parents, and all who made the return to school seem seamless. And it was anything but. So many thanks publicly to our school leaders across the diocese for doing so much. At a cost to their own summer holiday, to ensure boys and girls in your classroom that you can be confident that your school has all the procedures in place to keep you safe and well. Boys and girls, we celebrate the three archangels today, Michael, Gabriel and Raphael. The name Michael means who is like God. Gabriel, God's strength and Raphael translates as God heals. 
Michael is often represented as a warrior, wielding a sword, protecting us from anything awkward or things that aren't good for us. Gabriel is the messenger. He tells Mary she's going to be the mother of Jesus. And he frequently appeared in Joseph's dreams. Raphael is the one who brings healing and who seems to bring people together who are good for one another. You know your friends. Raphael brings our friends together. We love our friends. We thank Raphael for introducing us to each one of them. I'm patron of your school. What does patron mean? I sometimes even ask myself. It means someone who supports, encourages, affirms everything that's happening within the school. 171 is a huge number of schools. That's why I need people on the ground like Maeve and Brian, who on my behalf as patron are there to offer support and any assistance you may need. And I include a very good group, our Diocesan Education Council, who advise me on matters of education. Patron. A saint is also a patron to a profession or a career. I wonder, can you guess, who might the archangel Michael be patron of? Remember the image, always holding a shield and a sword. You got it in one. He's the patron of soldiers, specifically paratroopers. He's also the patron of the sick and radiologists. Let's remember those sick in our hospitals, in our ICU units, and those having treatment at this time. Some of our own family, maybe our gran, maybe our granddad. Then we have the Archangel Gabriel. Remember what Gabriel did, who he spoke to, the news he brought. He's the patron of telecommunications, radio, TV workers. I think I, Catholic, would fall under the remit of Gabriel. And finally, the Archangel Raphael translates beautifully as God heals. The patron of nurses, physicians, those whose sight is challenged. Raphael would today be the patron of those serving on the front line as we live alongside COVID-19. The psalm which Brian led us in reminded us beautiful, in the presence of the angels, I will bless you, O Lord. This is a beautiful celebration to mark the opening of the primary school year across the diocese. The angels are always there protecting and looking out for us. St. Luke in the Gospel reminds us of the values we should learn in a school year. To be compassionate, to be understanding of one another, not to judge, not to point fingers, not to accuse, to forgive and to be big enough to ask for forgiveness. Boys and girls, we learn much more from our failures than we will ever do from our successes. To give, to be generous, to think of others. Those few verses from St. Luke, I suggest, teachers, should be pinned up in all our notice boards to remind us in our prayer space of what we need to do the year ahead. You've got off to a great start. I commend all of you for the effort you're putting in. That lovely Irish phrase, tusma latna hibra, a good start is half the work. Among the many prayers sent in just before the Mass, one comes from the fifth class patrician primary in Newbridge. Hello to all in patrician in Newbridge. Your favourite prayer says, Courage. Lord, you are full of compassion. When afraid, give me courage. When impatient, keep me calm. When anxious, fill me with peace. 
Amen. Boys and girls, you might quietly stand now in your classroom as May will lead us in our prayer of the faithful. And the prayer comes from the many prayers sent to us just before our Mass commenced. We've been asked to pray for the friends and families of the sixth class girls in Scalefi and Neafra in Monastravan. The boys and girls in Big Stone, the senior infants in Grange National School, the sixth class girls in Skullco Canefa and Skullvrida, the sixth class in Skullvrida, Paulstown, want us to pray for those who are sick, particularly those with COVID-19, and for all those who look after them on the front line, in hospitals and at home. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Sixth class in Skullwira Fatima Timaho wish to express and share their gratitude for the beautiful national world we are surrounded by and pray that people around the world will be filled with a spirit of concern for the future of our environment and help to protect and respect the earth that we live on. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. The sixth class girls in school, we were lords in Tullow and all the boys and girls in Kildavan National School want us to pray for the whole school community as we navigate our way through the current pandemic. May we remain safe and strong confident that God's hand is guiding us through the storm. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In Skullmuragon Small in Greg Namana, the sixth class girls pray that our guardian angel will watch over and protect us during this school year and pray for the continued health of friends and family and hope that there will soon be a vaccine for the coronavirus. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. In the second and third classes in St. Bridget's National School in Clonigal, pray for Thomas and his family on the birth of their new girl, ba baby girl Marie, for Saoirse and her family on the birth of their new girl Fia, for third class who are busy preparing for First Holy Communion, and for their new priest, Father Pat. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And all the children and teachers in Skullvrida in Nerny in County Kildare ask for our prayers. A hir na gwymig er son gach taile chun sa in éirin agus er fud an bhaun. Lín ar grí le da grá agus le da hona si gúni. A hir na éistling. A hir na bí cansa agus éistling. We love the prayer to the guardian angel. I'm going to invite you in class to join me praying the very traditional prayer taught to us maybe by our grands, by our parents, as we say, O angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, Ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. We make these prayers through Christ our Lord.
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. We offer you a sacrifice of praise, O Lord, humbly entreating that as these gifts are borne by the ministry of angels into the presence of your majesty, so you may receive them favorably and make them profitable for our salvation through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise you without end in your archangels and angels. For the honour we pay the angelic creatures in whom you delight, redounds to your own surpassing glory. And by their great dignity and splendour, you show how infinitely great you are to be exalted above all things through Christ our Lord. Through him the multitude of angels extols your majesty, and we are united with them in exalted adoration, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, 
giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, your bishop, all clergy, all religious, and all your holy people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Saints Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, and all who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. To him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Saviour's command and form by divine teaching, boys and girls, we pray together in our class. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Boys and girls, teachers, we now pray our spiritual communion. I invite you to pray this with me in your class. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. 
I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Jesus to be broke, Jesus shared the bread he broke, and said to this, to this, in memory of me. Jesus took the wine he poured, Jesus shared the wine he poured, and said to this, do in memory of me I am the vine you are the branches and all who live in me will bear great fruit Jesus took the bread he brought Jesus shared the bread he broke and said to this, to this, in memory of me. Jesus took the wine he poured, Jesus shared the wine he poured and said to this, to this, in memory of me. I will thank you, Lord, with all my heart. In the presence of the angels, I will praise you. Let us pray. Having been nourished with heavenly bread, we beseech you humbly, O Lord, that drawing from it new strength, under the faithful protection of your angels, we may advance boldly along the way of salvation through Christ our Lord. Many sent photographs into us and we simply have got so many to put all of them up. Just a sample, Michel and Arles National Schools sent in lovely photographs. You see them now on screen in front of you. I want to thank all of you for being part of our celebration from the cathedral here at Carlow. Thanks to the team at iCatholic, thanks to the team at Faith Development Services, thanks to Father Tom and the team here in the cathedral, and Sean and the sacristy and all who helped in any way. But thanks to your teacher, your principal, and all of you for being with us in a very special way on this opening of the school year mass. I pray the Lord's blessing on one and all and thank you for all the support and encouragement you give one another. The Lord be with you. Just before that blessing, I want to say a special word of congratulation to the boys and girls who made their first communion in recent weeks and will be doing so in the coming weeks. And those who have been confirmed, ceremonies I have missed myself, but have been done at a local level, every blessing to one and all. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass has ended. Let us go and announce the joy of the Gospel. Longing for light, we wait in dark.
darkness, longing for truth, we turn to you. Make us your own, your holy people, light for the world to see. Christ, be your light, shine in our hearts, shine through the darkness. Christ, be your light, shine in your church, gather today. Longing for peace. Longing for hope, many despair. Your word alone has power to save us. Make us your.